Hi guys, this is Shalini and I am back to you with another video. Today my topic is respiratory acidosis, which is one among the four acid-base imbalances. In the previous videos, I have discussed about metabolic alkalosis and acidosis. I have left the link of which in the description box. If you like today's video and the content, kindly do like, share and subscribe and also let me know your valuable comments in the comment box. So let's get started. Respiratory acidosis, which in other words means there is too much acid or not enough base. The reference value of pH is 7.35 to 4.5. The average is say, taken as 7.4. So if the pH is less than 7.4, we say it is acidosis. And if it is more than 7.4, we say it is alkalosis. And the reference value of PaCO2 is 35 to 45. So whenever we say it is respiratory acidosis, we basically look at pH and PaCO2 pH is reduced and carbon dioxide there is retention of carbon dioxide which is again an acid. This is the famous acid based mnemonic which all of us have been using which I have discussed in the previous video also. I will just give you a brief of it again for the benefit of the ones who are hearing it for the first time which is Rome that is respiratory opposite at metabolic equals. What does it mean? It means in respiratory, the direction of defect is opposite. That means if pH increases, PCO2 should go in the opposite direction. And if pH decreases, PCO2 increases. In case of metabolic, what happens? The direction of defect is equal or the direction of uh, defect is same. These are some key points or important points which you must remember pertaining to respiratory acidosis. So the moment you hear respiratory acidosis, immediately you must think about retention of carbon dioxide inside the lungs. So if blood becomes acidic or if the pH decreases, there is some regulation by the lungs and some compensation which happens by the kidneys. In the lungs, when there is carbon dioxide inside, it combines with water and in the presence of carbonic anhydrase, it gives rise to a product called as carbonic acid, which is an acid. So excess amount of carbon dioxide inside will give rise to excess carbonic acid inside your body and will give rise to more acidic medium inside the body. This again in a later stage will dissociate to protons as well as bicarbonate to maintain the acid base balance or acid base environment inside the body. What happens inside the kidney when there is excess of acid or acidic medium in the blood? It will lead to the reabsorption of base or bicarbonate and it will also lead to the excretion of proton or hydrogen plus ions. Few things that you must remember when it comes to the interpretation of ABG. As I have told you in the beginning itself, in respiratory, the direction of defect is opposite. So if pH decreases, the PCO2 should increase. So we are talking about acidosis. So the pH will definitely decrease. It is below 7.35. And there is retention of carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide increases. So this is respiratory acidosis. When do we say there is compensation? When there is renal reabsorption of the bicarbonate. So the pH decreases, PACO2 increases and also the bicarbonate will increase. So that shows partial compensation. When do we say it is full compensation? When this compensation leads to normalization of the pH. That means the bicarbonate increases. Also because of some other support supportive therapy that we are providing to the patient, there is normalization of the pH. That means pH will get back to this range of 7.35 to 4.5. What are the causes of respiratory acidosis? So if I had to explain it in a line, I would just say there is retention of carbon dioxide. So what are the areas or diseases or conditions where there is retention of carbon dioxide? Reduced respiratory rate or volume that is either bradycardia or hyperventilation. Reduced respiratory drive in case of ingestion of toxins or there is any diseases of the central nervous system. Airflow obstruction like in case of asthma, COPD, sleep apnea and airway edema. There can be many other conditions but I have just listed out a few for you. Clinical manifestations of respiratory acidosis is as follows. Hyperventilation leading to hypoxia, rapid shallow respirations, reduced blood pressures, dyspnea, headache, hyperkalemia, dysrhythmias, drowsiness, dizziness, disorientation, muscle weakness, hyperreflexia and definitely it will depend upon the primary cause. Always you have to remember that the pH decreases and the PCO2 increases that means there is retention of carbon dioxide inside the 
lungs. Treatment for patients with respiratory acidosis, so there are few points I want you to remember. First thing is treating the underlying cause. Correction of chronic hypercapnia where you have to think of how can you get rid of the excess carbon dioxide in the lungs. Oxygenation especially in cases of patients with alveolar hypoventilation which has led to hypoxemia you have to think of oxygen. Ventilation that is non-invasive ventilation especially positive pressure ventilation and in severe cases intubation. Respiratory stimulants like medroxy progesterone which will help you to stimulate the respiratory center or improve your respiratory drive especially in obese patients, COPD patients or alveolar hypoventilation patients. Acetazolamide is another drug which will act at this level where it inhibits the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into carbonic acid. So this is inhibited that is acetazolamide which is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. Bronchodilators which will again help you to improve your airway passage. Reverse sedation in certain cases when pa where patients are deeply sedated there is depression of the respiratory center. So you have to think of weaning the patient out of sedation. Theophylline is another drug which will help you to relax the airways, improve the airway passages and also you have to remember that you have to avoid too rapid correction so that the patient does not go from acidosis to alkalosis. Part of recap, I would like to just discuss one scenario with you. For example, there is one 80 years old man who comes into the casualty with complaints of chest tightness and difficulty breathing has been a chronic smoker for the last 50 years and is also a case of COPD. Now the ABG value shows pH is 7.15 which is reduced, PO2 is 60 mm of Hg which is again less, PSEO2 is 55 mm of Hg which is more and bicarbonate is 30 milliequivalents per liter which is again high. So the direction of defect is opposite so we conclude it is respiratory. And because the pH is less than 7.35, we say it is respiratory acidosis. Now, part of compensation, the bicarbonate has increased. So, which means there is some amount of compensation hap happening. There is renal resorption of reabsorption of the base. But the pH is still less. So, we say it is partially compensated respiratory acidosis. And also the PaO2 is less. That means this patient is in hypoxemia. So thank you. I hope that you have liked the content and the video. So kindly do like, share and subscribe. Also let me know your doubts, clarifications and comments in the comment box. Otherwise, thank you and have a nice day.